All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the first ever Thor AMA Partners Twitter Spaces. This is going to be a banger of a spaces. We have partnered up with BBD Cat, Days Ducks, Groovies, Doge Capital, Kamakura, Undead Soul, Magic Mushies, and Phoenix Dragons. So these are our first eight partners. We currently have 17. And Andy, what are we going to? 20, 25? How many partners are we going up to for our freshman early bird partners? 25. 25. Okay, so we got like eight spots left for you guys. So if you guys know partner communities or people that may be interested in Thor, I'm sure you've seen Thor all over the timeline here, especially in these last couple of weeks. But Thor's been doing its thing for months. So that's some of the stuff we're going to be talking about today. We're going to cover what is Thor. We're going to cover what benefits it offers to our partners and our partners community. And then we're going to do an AMA and answer any and all questions that you guys have. So, Andy, what do you got going on today, brother? Trading. Looking at charts and trading. Dude, that I have all I've been Coinbase doing. every 20 minutes on my phone. Not Coinbase, CoinMarketCap. Oh, I was about to say, you got to get the fuck off Coinbase, dude. Those uh, trading fees will eat you no, alive. No, no, no. Um, not fucking with Coinbase. <laughs> yeah. Coin market cap. I was like, noob, move. What the hell, man? I expected better. Come Although on. I did like uh, uh, when they had, uh, what was it, Coinbase Pro? I actually liked the layout of that one when they had that. They still have it. You do have to pay like 35 bucks a month for it. But if you're trading volume, it does help save on fees. Uh, but there's... Y'all know us, we're DeFi maxis, um, and we prefer, I personally prefer DeFi uh, protocols and trading um, sites, and that's what I go with. So, yeah, if you're not trading on DeFi, go provide some liquidity and fucking bounce around. Centralized exchanges are good, but y'all know, not your keys, not your fucking crypto. So, big bullish points there. But man, I mean, it's absolutely been insane. The last couple of days have been fun. I feel like the vibes are immaculate right now. It's been great to see people really, I think, um, reaping the rewards of working through the bear so fucking long. Um, it's been a really big relief for a lot of us. And we've also had some conversations spark over the last couple of days about like treasury management, misappropriation of funds, not naming names on anything like that. But it's also made me really bullish to have this conversation um, you know, pretty close in proximity to that because that's really one of the the solutions we're really looking to bring to market. And we've got some fucking amazing projects up here that we're friends with all of, and we're so thrilled to have them be part of our freshman class, man. Yeah, man, it's been crazy watching just how active Thor is when the markets are more volatile and there's a lot more volume happening. Like even after we sold, what was it? One, two, three, six times in between October 18th and October 23rd. It bought Solana back up five more times between October 23rd and October 24th. And then we sold again on the 25th and every single trade was profitable. So Thor's doing its thing, man. You love to see it. We're not surprised by it anymore, but it's really good to get some data out there for people to see firsthand. Um, I think that that's what we've been looking forward to. And a lot of how these conversations with our partner projects started and it's really um, it's just a fucking pat on the back to the team and the community for supporting us along the way and shout out to the projects who are up here right now, um, you know, who are signing up to do something that's generally, you know, uh, it's a bit crazy, you know, saying, Hey, we've got this protocol, you know, trust us with either some of your capital or roll this out as a feature to your holders. And I just think that a lot of things have been building up over the last two years, and we're thankful to have that um, that support and and really be, you know, just appreciative of the trust that people have given us, man. Yeah, man, for sure. I mean, I think that it's, uh, you know, all the accumulative work that frogs have done over the last two years, we're finally seeing it kind of come to life with the protocol, new website coming out here soon. Uh, I'm looking at my dashboard, I'm up 33.89% right now on my uh, individual contract that I have open. So yeah, man, it's been it's been insane. Dude, it's been great. So I, I would love to hear from everybody and I want to do a round of updates and just get some intros from everybody. If we want to do um, just some quick check-ins, who you guys are, what your projects are about, what you've been doing through the bear and uh, man, I think take it from there. Undervalued. I'll hand it off to you. Admittedly, everyone, I think I've told everyone in private that I'm a terrible fucking host. Um, so thank you, Undervalued, for helping me up here, man. <laughs> 
Well, I'm going to be driving the last half of this space, so don't thank me yet. <laughs> hey, man, we'll, but, we'll uh, figure it out. We'll figure yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah, no, we got it. We've done enough of these together. We got this on lock. So, yeah, why don't we go around the panel here because we got some badass projects up here. These are all of our OG Salada homies up here. Oh, we got Phoenix Dragons. Let me invite them up. Uh, so these guys, like, we don't just partner with anyone. These are our Solana, Solana homies. We're not reaching out to projects that – we're not super familiar with or don't have credibility. So, you know, you can't just be like, hey, I want to be a partner, become a partner. We're very intentional about who we partner with. So let's start off with Days Ducks. Let's just do like 30 seconds to a minute for each one of you guys just to kind of go around. And uh, let's like, yeah, whatever recent updates you guys got going on or what your project is known for. Let's just go around the panel here and just introduce yourself. So Days Ducks, we'll start with you. How's it going? Quack, quack, brothers. Quack, quack, man. Long time no speak. You know, when uh, Cyber Frogs reached out asking to do a space, I told him I charged like 25K to make an appearance. But, you know, it was Andy that reached out to the Ducks, so I had to make an exception here. So I'm speaking for free today. Andy has that kind of influence, man. He'll he'll win those 25k fees with his influence. I know, I know, I know. It's, it's, I'm excited <laughs> I don't know to if be. You saw here. the like uh, reactions to his last uh, Twitter post he did, though. But he's he's getting those. Uh, you know, reptile type engagements over there. <laughs> I don't want to be an influencer. I do not want to be a fucking influencer. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's all love here, man. Appreciate you guys setting this all up, inviting some cool speakers up on stage. Um, you know, a lot of people always want to ask like, you know, ducks, who are you? What have you been about? I mean, you know, we've been around for almost two years now coming up on, and it's like, I'm not going to sit here and show the entire two year story, but I always like to talk about, you know, what we're um, on a mission to. And our mission statement is pretty simple. You know, our number one goal is to make NFTs cool again. I think fundamentally um, the entire market, as well as, you know, individuals, their perception on NFTs has drastically changed over the past two years. Um, ultimately, I think we're at a point in time now where people just don't look at them the same way they did, you know, about a year ago. So, you know, we, we're really just on a mission statement and journey to make NFTs cool again. Got a couple of different ventures and things that we've been working on over the past couple of months. Um, you know, the council, which basically overtook uh, the majority of the project back in April, has really just been rolling out a bunch of different fundamentals. We kicked off season two beginning of September with a bank, doing a bunch of different things to reward our holders. And we have some cool, unique things coming up. Um, here post breakpoint, uh, but excited to talk more with you guys and the rest of the folks here about the space. Hell yeah, dude. That's awesome. I'm glad to see you're still around, man. Dude, I feel like so many two year anniversaries are coming up. So, man, I didn't know Days of Ducks is right around the corner, too. So, that's awesome. BBD Cat, who we got over there? Is it Hellboy today? Hell, yo, yo, yo. It's Gig. Um, I think Hellboy is probably uh, busy on the grind as usual. But, uh, yo, great to be a part of the freshman class. You already know what it is. I know we got a lot of OGs out here, but I'm feeling like a freshman again, and I love it. Appreciate you guys for having us up here. Um, yeah, we minted a little over a year ago, hopped out on the scene hard. You probably know us for our trade swapper. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys know Hellboy. I know I know you and you and him are pretty tight, Andy. So that's great to that's great to hear. Um, and I'm glad to be up here, man. Um, it's been a it's been a roller coaster ride on, on Solana, you know, over the past year and a half to two years, but um, you know, the fact that I see uh, a lot of these OG projects out here is 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 great to see. And, uh, you know, I know uh, uh, a lot of them have had potential from the beginning and uh, they just keep grinding and showing up. So love to see it. Uh, we'll always be out here. BVD, be very different. Uh, remember the name. Appreciate you guys. Bullish. Let's get it. Hell yeah, Love man. Phoenix Dragons, what's up, guys? How's it going? How's it going? Can you hear me? Yeah, man. Loud and clear. You're good. Nice, nice. Good to be here. Thanks for inviting us. It's uh, It's been a wild two years for us, too. We're having an anniversary here soon. If not, if we haven't already had it, I haven't keeping up with the the birthday because it, we we were hard rug. So it's really hard you to know tell. What? Exactly. I think it's been two years. And Andy, you might not know this, but Phoenix dragons was the first Solana NFT that I ever bought. I couldn't mint because the whole mint crashed on me and sold out in like two seconds and the website crashed. And so I bought a bunch on secondary, but that was like the very first Solana NFT that I purchased. It was fun times, fun times, fun times. We spent a lot of money back then, didn't we? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was back in the good old days. I think, like, you guys and Rogue Sharks are in the same week. So, man, that week was nuts. Yeah, we was, uh, I think, a week or two before uh, D-Gods. And we were about 
a soul or two short from the same price too. So it's kind of surreal to see where they've gone and where we've gone and where we could have been and where they could have been. It's, it's good to see the ecosystem flourish though, in some way. Oh yeah, man. So what's Phoenix Dragon's been up to? I know you guys did some cool, uh, like auctioned uh, art pieces and things like that. What's cooking? Yeah, on we guys did in? one of ones uh, that a guy named Fast did for us, and we've uh, auctioned those off using our flame token and whatnot. We've already distributed all those out. Thinking about doing some more because they seem pretty popular among the among some of the community members, and it's a it gives a good way for for us to spend our flame. And uh, see, so yeah, we're working on some. Right now, I'm working on a partnership with another project that could possibly get us some trait swapping art upgrade type stuff. And I'm also working on a game for the for the Phoenix Dragons. And we're also doing uh, lending. We're, we're trying to lend on SharkFi and make, uh, make gains and distribute those gains out when we get to, I think that the community decided on Tinsol. When we get there, we're going to we're going to figure out a creative way to not just give it out because we're not legally allowed to just do that. So uh, we'll have a little competition model with our game and, and try to fix it up that way. Try to make everything legal beagle. Got to watch out. Gary Gensler will come for you, out. man. Yeah. Got to watch out. Got to watch out. Well, I appreciate y'all picking us. I, I feel we are very privileged to, to be in this. There's so many great projects. I'm in a bunch of these. Sorry to say, I don't hold very many more NFTs now because you know, life happens <laughs> no i feel you i feel you man it's great to be here uh and i uh, can't wait to see what to hear all about thor and what we can do on it hell yeah man that's awesome mushies what's up guys how's it going uh i'm sam bino i'm the uh i'm a co-founder and lead developer over at mushies so we've been around for uh coming up on two years in january um and man have have we been through a lot um it's great to see everything cyber frogs are doing we appreciate you reaching out and getting us a part of this and having us on the space especially after working with you guys way back in the day with staking like andy and Sile, just great people and Sile's just one of the most insane devs i've met just had to put that out there so seeing what you guys are doing with thor is awesome and being able to put this with our communities you know one of the best things we could ask for um, but you know, we're doing a lot. We've, uh, you know, for the past year, we were doing a lot with the one of one upgrades. We think personalization of NFTs is kind of like the future. If you're going to rock something, you want it to, to represent you. And, uh, we also uh, have been working a lot behind the scenes on something where, you know, kind of like Phoenix, we're doing something in the gaming space. That's alpha. Cause we've been kind of private on it, but we think Solana has a, a lot of potential in the gaming space. So we want to do something very cool. We've, uh, personally been putting hundreds of hours in on this and uh it will be releasing very soon that's that's mostly what i can say but again thank you oh yeah dude dude frog spaces are known for leaking alpha so it's all good man you can't help it if you're on a frog spaces the alpha just comes out but uh hey uh andy said he can't hear you i think uh spaces is glitching so if you could leave and come back i'll uh, invite you back up here but yeah it's glitchy to where he can't hear you but i can so good old elon all right i'll be back all uh, right, sounds good. Doge, what's up, guys? You just had your two year here recently. And uh, speaking of trait swapping with Phoenix Dragons, you guys are doing a lot in that field. So, how you guys been? I was going to say, like, I've heard trait swaps like three times already. And then customization. There was a time where this was forbidden. You couldn't talk about like swapping your JPEGs traits. It was just a no. And now seeing the shift into gamification and different traits and all you can do is, is just amazing. Uh, but yeah, backtracking, uh, this partnership was kind of a no-brainer for us. CyberFrog is one of the most respected teams in the space, OGs. Uh, the tool I've heard is amazing, so I'm going to get my hands on it tonight. Um, really excited for that. Uh, but it, yeah, so uh, so we're a dev studio at our core. That's how we keep things running. We do dev work for tons of teams in the space. Um, and then we have a developer academy, Doge Academy. They recently we they release open source uh, programs. Uh, recently, a rug and NFT burner that integrates with a raffle system and adopts Doge's from the floor. And then our uh, core platform is Wardrobe. 
It is a full marketplace and launch pad for trades. And then we have a backend that we have APIs for to allow other teams to use the protocol for in-game items, uh, trades, a lot of different possibilities. Uh, and yeah, we, we currently have four projects running on a wardrobe protocol. We've released that about a month and a half ago now. Uh, and we continue to pursue these different partnerships and talk about all the different possibilities. Uh, but yeah, traits and uh, all this gamification will be a core component for us moving forward. Hell yeah. And you guys, your interface for your trade swapping is awesome. So I love the idea of having like an actual official marketplace for trade swapping for all communities to be able to, you know, have some exposure to trade swapping. So love what you guys have been doing over there at Doge Capital. Groovies, what's up, guys? What's good? So this is Megatron. I haven't talked. This is my first space, actually. Um, Welcome. Welcome, dude. It's an honor for us to pop your cherry. Yeah, well, I appreciate it. So, um, I mean, we're here because um, I've been in Cyber Frogs for coming up on a year as a whale. So most of you have seen me in and around there. And about a, six weeks ago, uh, four of us uh, decided to kind of take over Groovies. The previous founders kind of decided to dip. So we don't need to talk about the history because it doesn't matter anymore. Um, up to this point, we've just been mostly trying to create some partnerships and reach out to the other projects that, you know, we're all kind of close with. Um, so that would be, you know, you guys, uh, we're using the Doge Capital trait swap, um, and it's been a hit and we've spent the last six weeks kind of cleaning up the mess that was dealt and, I'm trying to honor some obligations that people were expecting. Uh, those are pretty much over now, so we can start moving forward. And our plan is to try to tap into the Web2 e-commerce side of things to bring in some outside cash flow. You know, our art kind of caters more towards children, not our choice, but we're going to try to take advantage of that. Hell yeah, man. And I've seen you all over my timeline. I cannot get on Twitter without seeing a recent Groovies post. So you've been crushing it on the tweets since you took over, man. Well, th and then we got Tombstone up here. So, uh, Andy, are we are we partnered with Tombstone? I've always loved those guys, but I see they're up here too as well. I didn't know if we're partnered with them yet. Surprise, MFers. Sov. Uh, <laughs> what's up, buddy? <laughs> well, good. Sorry to sneak in here real late, everybody, but... Yeah, I think uh, we're going to try to set something up between us and Cyber Frogs for Thor. Appreciate you, Andy, for setting us up. But yeah, we've uh, we've been connected with Cyber Frogs, Andy, for a long time now. Uh, we worked with trade swapping. Uh, they had a contract out that we used for a while, but ended up getting rid of, and then eventually shifted into like a full on art upgrade where you can actually like change the versions from the original to the upgraded art. Um, so we took a little bit of a different approach to it than everybody else up here, but I recognize some of the other projects. We've worked with Doge Capital to do our raffle system and recognize some other people like Days Ducks, Bad Cats, Groovies as well, Mushies. Great to see you guys up here. Um, but yeah, what we're working on right now is something called Sapphire. It's an AI art generation tool. Uh, we released some sort of beta under Tombstone this past summer and then showcased it at a pretty big event in Miami. Um, but what it does is you can take a prompt or an image and just generate a new image out of that using a couple of different engines and then a lot of different models uh, that are trained specifically for those types of things. You can take those generations and mint them directly into NFTs, CNFTs, PNFTs with enforced royalties, create entire NFT collections, stuff like that. So um, yeah, we're getting ready to launch that and go live with it soon. But yeah, I'll just keep it short and simple. That's that's pretty much what we've got going on over here. Thanks for having us. Yeah, man. Thanks for being here. I didn't know Andy didn't tell me anything about you guys being on board. So I've known about Tombstone since the beginning. So, dude, that's freaking awesome. Glad to have you guys on board. Andy's always coming up with little surprises, or I think he just forgets to tell me in general. So it, it's, it's all good. <laughs> we're up here with a bunch of fellow founders. They know how it is. There's so many things that happen consecutively. You can't keep up with all of them. But uh, no, Sav uh, actually hit me up while we were on the spaces. But um, you know, it just goes to show you network effect. And also, 
you know, friends supporting friends. I think that that's like a big theme that I've already heard is, you know, a lot of us are already working with each other or have a big overlay and sort of crossover between our community members. And I think that's what's really cool. And that's exactly what aligns with what we're trying to do is provide services and helpful, you know, tools and utilities to our friends so that they can go off and do what they're best at. We're all very different. We all have a ton of different sort of underlying narratives for our projects. And it's really cool to see that we rely on each other, you know, to to really capitalize and gain from each other's experiences and strengths and focus on our own. So, man, getting these spaces together makes me even more bullish on Solana as an ecosystem and makes me thankful to have the friends in this space that I do. And uh, that, that goes for pretty much every project up here. And um, yeah, it's just really fucking awesome to see, man. Hell yeah, dude. All right, we got one last one. Last but not least, Kamakura awesome. also yeah, recently yeah, has a uh, new takeover for, for the project. So happy to, happy to have you guys here, man. Hey, how's it going? Thanks for having us up here. How's it, Andy? Aloha. Uh, Aloha, undervalued. Um, <clears throat> Cyber Frogs, big fan. Love being here. Love everything you guys are about. Um, I'm the I'm Turtle Joe. I'm the new founder or the new CEO of Kamakura. We just we're rebranding and we're redoing a whole lot of stuff. So we're rebuilding, just like a lot of people in the space uh, took over in the beginning of this month. So that's pretty much our derug date. But we're coming upon our two year anniversary come March. So uh it's been it's been a long ride it's been a long long ride there's a lot of things that we're looking forward to do uh what we want to do is basically follow the meta of of you folks cyber frogs and do do with trading and it'll be basically a backbone of what we're doing in kamakura <clears throat> trading and following that suit Awesome, guys. Yeah, I can't wait to see what you do with it. I know we've had some, uh, you know, words of caution with you taking over that project, but man, you seem so driven and focused to bring that project to life and really drive it to the next level. So excited to have you on there. And uh, you've been a big supporter of Frogs, too, for a long time. So we, uh, we absolutely want to partner up with you as well. Uh, Andy also said he can't hear you, so I don't know if you can leave and come back as well. Yeah, I left so one, one, of those, uh, one of those days with Twitter spaces. Yeah, no problem. I'll leave again. Awesome, awesome. So we can go ahead and get started. I'm sure most people have a general idea of what Thor is, but Andy, I thought you could do your little quick rundown as to what Thor is, and then let's get into a little bit about how it works and the benefits that it gives to not only the partner's project themselves, but also their community. Sure. So there's there's two things that happen you know, when you run a project. One is you have mint funds. Um, and you're really trying to focus on building and we've seen it, you know, most recently with some public debates that it's not always easy to make financial decisions, given that you're so focused on your project, you don't have time to really monitor the market and, or maybe have the wherewithal to do so. And so this is a solution that we're bringing to market, not only for projects, but holders and everyone in between where we've applied what we call Thor to an automated trading protocol. And this protocol is really designed for people who want to set it and forget it and let over 15 years of development do, um, you know, trading for them and managing their portfolios. Uh, we released the first version of this on chain about a year ago and are currently on version V3. And V3 is the most powerful investment in DeFi protocol that is available on any blockchain bar none. And I say that um, knowing the implications of what that, you know, sounds like. And here we are, you know, looking to prove that not only to ourselves and, and outward. So Thor has been applied to a contract that does automated spot buys, spot sells. It also automates um, liquidity providing. It automates DeFi applications such as like liquid staking and again, liquidity. And now we've just released the V3 version, which has included hedging. And so what we're really talking about here and now is the world's world's first on-chain hedge fund. And we're rolling this out as a, as a solution for people who are looking for treasury management, 
um, portfolio management, wealth diversification, and everything in between. And so when we say this is one of the most powerful protocols that exists, the reason I say that is because nothing like this has ever really come to market before. And we've seen that there's a need within the space. You either don't have the time, you don't have the the knowledge or the patience to really manage your own portfolio. We all know what it's like going on Twitter and seeing everyone call for $3 Solana and you don't know what to, to do. Well, we've got this thing called Thor that that has a generally, generally speaking, a good idea what to do. And so with that, we've been in operation for the last nine months with this version of the contract. And currently we're we're really, I think, able to see what it does over a longer period of time and have started providing that as a solution for people who want to focus on their project and and let us handle, you know, some of the day-to-day financial services on our own. And, you know, that's a good place. And I do want this to be, you know, where there are candid questions that come out. And if anyone has specific questions on it, we want this to be an opportunity for you as the projects, or even as your community members to come up and and ask any questions. So let, you know, everybody know that there's an open stage. Um, But yeah, so that's the basics of it is the first ever on-chain hedge fund. And um, we do operate on Solana DeFi right now. And so largely we've been trading Solana. We are going to be expanding our protocol to be interoperable and facilitate trades on, you know, additional blockchains where there may be some additional liquidity. And so right now we're just trading Solana, like I said, but in, you know, in full effect, this is a diversified trading portfolio, automating hedging, automating longing. Um, we do have perpetual contracts worked into it as well, but it's a fully fleshed, time tested trading strategy that we've had implemented into our own personal fund management for over 10 years. And we're making it available to our partner projects for treasury management and also for their holders if they would like access. And so that's why we're all up here right now. The the interesting narrative and conversation lately has been, um, you know, some some financial stuff from some unnamed projects, and we see it time and time again. Is that um, may intentions aside, managing your portfolio and your finances can make or break a project, and we've really looked to solve that, and we want to provide this as a resource you know, to our friends, to the Solana ecosystem, and eventually outward as well. So um, that's a little bit about the protocol. And I'm happy to dive into details and fucking anything else in between, man. Undervalued, you're leaving me hanging, bro. You know what? Sorry, I'll just step in. Clearly, he's just, he's slacking. <laughs> Days Ducks took the stage, undervalued, you're fired. I got my new co-host, man. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm just uh, out here doing God's work, you know, holding the whole NFT ecosystem on my back. No, I'm just kidding. Yo, I just want to quickly shout out um, Andy and the CyberFrogs team. Um, for those of you who didn't know, we actually tried venturing down our own opportunity of releasing like an algorithm trading bot. We did a merger with Jamut, which was another OG project, and brought on their dev team or, you know, it was a solo dev into our uh, sort of umbrella. And we kind of, our thought process behind it was, you know, how can we attack the facet of rewarding our holders? And that's kind of what led us down to that path of like, you know, giving them a way to generate some level of passive income and sort of, you know, expand their knowledge base on, you know, spot trading and trading in general. And so, you know, Thor, and needless to say, Thor was a very big inspiration of ours. And it was kind of funny because prior to that, we didn't even think that like something of a partnership of this nature would come about. And so seeing that we did ours, I mean, it didn't necessarily, ours are still, it's a baby. It's a baby compared to what Andy and the CyberFrog team have built out. So very much kudos to them. And so for us, it was, for our holders specifically, we wanted to give them something even more impactful and rewarding. And so, you know, when Andy reached out, you know, they did a phenomenal job, by the way. I mean, from when they reached out versus to when we 
allowed our holders to start using it. I think there was like a day, maybe two day waiting period for it. So they were able to quickly get that up and running. Um, we gave it to our holders and immediately we had some positive feedback. A lot of our holders were like, you know, we've been looking to try Thor. The price to entry to that was uh, extremely high, but seeing, you know, that I can get it now through Ducks, this is a very cool experience. And funny enough, you know, we actually deposited a hundred dollars into a trading account just to kind of like give our holders to lead by an example type of notion. And to date, I think we're up well over, over 30%, if not 40%, just, just in the past seven days that we've, uh, opened it up to our holders to use, which is, which is phenomenal to think about. And a lot of people might think like, they'll say, Oh, you know, it's because soul is increasing or soul is pumping. So no, obviously the, the bots could be doing well. And you know, my number one response to all of them was like, well, Hey, look, Take me, for example, you know, sustain behind the account. I myself wasn't using the bot, right? And I had all my liquid and I was manually watching soul and using emotions plus, you know, a little bit of TA, but majority emotion to trade, right? I didn't have the tenacity to go to bed when soul went from 25 to 29 and leaving my money in soul, right? So I would stable it and I woke up the next morning and the shit was $32. I was crying, right? Had you had left your money in the Thor trading bot, it would have done it for you and it wouldn't have sold it and actually would have bought back or did whatever it done. And, you know, basically left you on the winning side or the upper hand. So the thought process behind being is that it takes the emotional risk factor out of your hands. So you don't have to worry about, do I need to make the decision whether or not I need to hold or sell? You can put that trust into the bot and have it take it for you. So that way you don't have to deal with it. So when you remove the emotional part, behind, you know, trading, it really, really maximizes your potential ROI that you could get in trading in general. I mean, at the end of the day, we're looking to compound our gains, not get a thousand X's overnight. And I think a lot of us as traders, especially being in this ecosystem for such a long time, we see it and we're somewhat accustomed to trying to get like that 10 X, hundred X instantaneously. And we don't realize the benefit of compounding your gains. And so something like the Thor trading bot really amplifies that by removing the emotional aspect out of it and keeping it just for the tech so it, it, you know, major shout out to the Cyberfrog team. They've done a phenomenal job with their bot. I'm excited to see how it continues to grow in their ecosystem and now this hedge fund conversation that they're bringing about. So, so many cool things on the line. I'd love to hear some of the other people on the stage if they have an opportunity to um, hear about their community stories and how they've been liking the bot, so on and so forth. Um, yeah. I'll take it from there. Um, we have our community hasn't got a big chance to take a look at the Thor thing, but I ha, I personally have. I put a hundred dollars in there a couple of days ago, and we're up, we're up too just as well. So I had a couple of questions here. Well, uh, what does owning a partner NFT do to help with the Thor? Like what is, what do what is owning one of our partner projects? What what's that do? That is a great question, man. And this is one of the reasons that we're partnering with friends and people that we have a level of respect for because we want this to be. See, now Andy's ghosting, or I can't hear him. Oh, uh, no. Nope. See, I'm good. It's you, I think. Hopefully. Someone give me a thumbs up if they can hear me, please. I can hear you just fine. I can hear both of you just fine. <laughs> That's good. Undervalued. We'll get you back up here, brother. Um, but, I, but I can't yeah. hear Andy. Andy, I'll leave and come back. Man, good old Elon loves to fuck us today. But uh, so, you know, why, what is the value for your holders and what is part of the partnership incentive? Well, we wanted to give you guys uh, a bit of a utility to offer your holders and give them an incentive to do so that, you know, it was mentioned earlier, some people are priced out of using Thor under Cyberfrogs and we totally understand. And we still want to be able to provide this as a service. So we run an, uh, a performance fee. There is a small pledge using our currency to open a contract, and then our revenue structure is built around profit. If our contract doesn't profit, we don't take any taxes. That is just what it is. And so we've rolled out a reduction in taxes for all of our partner projects. And from the original 20% uh, oper or performance fee, we've lowered that by 10% and uh, rolled that out for your holders. So any one of you holding any of these projects up here, you do have an automatic 10% reduction in using Thor. And um, yeah, so that's one of the things we wanted to roll out for the holders. That's epic, man. That's exactly what I was looking for. Thank you. And I uh, also had one more question. What's the best way to use the platform? Like you just, I mean, uh, will it be different when the hedging comes in or is it just pretty much you type in how much you want to put in, click, go, and, and it does it? So right now, there's some, so fucking Eric said it earlier, Alpha Andy coming out. 
there's a couple things that we're looking to to modify a little bit right now. As it stands, when you go and you you pledge to the contract, you match the contract state. And that being said, it's really dependent on what your own personal bags look like. Do you currently own Solana? Um, do you currently have USDC? Do you need to sell Solana? So we're removing that barrier and we're making it where you can pledge and enter the contract at any time using only USDC or USDT. And this is an opportunity for people to take moves either direction. Now that we're hedging, when you know there's price action going down, you know likely we have a hedge opened and we're able to get people involved in the short. So as it stands, it is a match the contract. Um, when you ask, is it a good time now or later? That's a hard one to answer just because it does depend. Have you, do you have Solana or do you not have Solana? So that should be rolled out in the next two weeks. And that that's going to be, uh, I think, a really good solution for anybody looking to open the contract, regardless of price action. Beautiful, man. That's bullish, bullish. I'll, uh, that's all I had. I'll let uh, somebody else go now. Thank you for your time, man. Yeah, dude, much appreciated. And I do love these, you know, conversations. This is exactly what we're looking to do is we've been developing this on chain for the last year. You know, we know that there are things that we want to do to improve user experience for people coming into the contract at any point in time. And that specifically is one of the reasons that we initiated hedging. Now, you know, speaking from Solana DeFi, we're hedging our own asset, which is Solana. And so as we begin to roll this over to EVM compatible chains, the interactions are all still going to be conducted via Solana, via Solana wallets, and we can facilitate that bridge internally. But, you know, that becomes a complex, like, how do I match this contract state? So all of that goes to the wayside and it'll strictly be a USDC, USDT um, pledge and that we're really looking forward to rolling that out. Eric, I think we got you back up here, brother. You uh, you back in the saddle? There you is. I think so, man. It's pouring down rain and I'm driving, but I think I'm back. Well, don't don't spaces and drive, bro. <laughs> so, as much as possible. But uh, yeah, man. So, man, I uh, I'm really thankful that people have questions about it. That's really good to hear because we want people to get this. Uh, you know, I think there. this is the opportunity to answer those questions. And, you know, one of the things that I can really say with confidence is that we're constantly expanding and improving like all of us within our own lanes. Um, where we're at right now is V3 of the contract and V4 will be released whenever it is EVM compatible and also ported over to Binance. So we will be facilitating some trades on DeFi exchanges like Didex. So there will be perpetuals. Um, and applying a small percentage of the portfolio to shorter time frame calls. We know that these big moves from a macro perspective, you know, they take time. And sometimes we want to play some smaller signals. And so we have integrated shorter time frame signals on the one hour time frame. And so this is really just to, to stay, say that we want the capital working for people, which is why that we've also initiated USDC deposits and interest generating deposits. We will be automating liquidity providing. And so our goal is to make sure that there's no dead capital sitting around. And through some of these things that we have coming out in the next week or so, that's some of our answer to that. So sitting around on dead capital doesn't make anybody money and it doesn't do anything. Um, so we, we've gotten some, some answers to that coming out. And I got my good friend up here who just joined. Welcome to the stage, Neanderthal. How's it going, buddy? Dude, what's up, dude? I had a had a quick question. Uh, hopefully, this this uh, helps out all the projects. So now we have partner projects. So congratulations to everyone, of course. So let's say one of the holders, they really like TAP or Thor. Uh, yeah, TAP. Um, they're really excited for it. They throw in some liquidity. Now they're like, man, you know what? I might go ahead and get a cyber frog. Now, they have a discount with their partner project. Would that roll in when they get a, a cyber frog or would they have to select what's best for them um, based on that? Obviously, cyber frogs has different utilities outside of just tap, uh, but just want to make sure people are aware of what the possibilities would be um, in, in that type of conversation. 
So good question. Um, we will have the lowest tax bracket be applied at the time of opening a contract. Um, for those of you who own cyber frogs, you know that a single cyber frog is a 15% performance fee. And so if you have a partner project or you have a cyber frog, the greater discount applies at that time. But that's a really interesting idea moving forward because we do want this to be a collaborative approach and that those are ideas that we can explore, you know, further ways to really solidify actual partnerships. And like we did with dual staking in the past, figure out some way to uh, incentivize holders of both projects. That's 100% in line with what we're trying to do. Now, could, could there be a possibility in the near future that based on um, tiered systems, right? Like, let's say um, there's a holder, whatever, there's a holder incentive for, let's say, days, for example, and they have X amount of liquid that's running through TAP. Would then, would there be a possibility at that moment that we would be able as a community to, to say, you know what, we're... We're, we want to empower people. So then because you've, as a community, given X amount liquidity, maybe there's an opportunity for you to get a little bit more because you trust the project in facilitating these. Uh, by the way, I'm just spitballing right now. I know the space is recorded. You don't have to answer that. I'm just fucking, I just woke up and I'm trying to spitball things like, damn, that would be kind of neat. If, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If we, if we hook people up, because I feel like... Uh, if there's anyone that, that will recognize, like, yeah, that would be kind of sick. Uh, I figured it'd be you, and uh, I'd rather catch you, catch you while I can, bro. So, uh, yeah. What do you What do you think, Andy? This is what Nini loves to do to That's me. True. He waits. He's in my DMs, just talking, just hanging out, and then he waits until we're on recorded spaces um, to ask me some fun <laughs> shit. But yeah, dude, I, I, <laughs> it's a good style. It's a good style, bro. Um, so I do think that that's an incentive we can roll out. Um, you know, for us, I do think that the, the trust is appreciated and we want to do something to show our appreciation back. And so that is something that we've talked about where if there are certain sort of metrics for us to hit in terms of TVL from specific projects that we can apply further discounts and that that's a way for, you know, obviously to incentivize the, the partner projects that we have. Um, and also give them, you know, some additional benefit to to that trust that they've given us. So we do want this to be, you know, I think uh, a partnership and not just some bullshit, um, you know, partnership that you do one spaces on. And that's what I want everyone on stage here to know is y'all know my DMs are open and ideas like these will constantly drive us to iterate bigger and better ways to collaborate with one another and that that's exactly what aligns with our thesis here. Y'all know we're a D-Rug. There's a ton of D-Rugs up here. We know how difficult it is. And we know that we are in a position to provide a solution for at least, you know, one aspect of this crazy ecosystem that we live in. So 100%. Um, I do think that there will be certain thresholds for TBL um, to get to some of those incentivizations but that those are things that will work with projects. And here's the other thing too, is we know that projects are built very differently, large and small, um, you know, some may be more cash flow positive than others. And that that's something that we're willing to be flexible on. Um, given that we are so intentional with who we partner with, you know, I know the backstories of all of these projects up here. I've been friends with them for a really long time and we want to really be, I think mindful of the size of a project and still continue to provide, you know, incentives and, and benefits and help. And that's really our goal here is we want to do something to help the ecosystem and to help these projects. And I think alleviating like arbitrary TVL limits and shit like that is probably one way that we can be a bit more flexible for smaller projects and uh, continue to grow. And, and that's something that, I am morally and ethically aligned with me. So that's a good fucking idea, brother. Dude, I'm trying out here, dude. I'm trying. All right. One, one last one. One last one. I promise I'll shut up after this one. All right. So you mentioned EVM compatibility with the uh, backing of Solana, which I think is, is such an amazing idea by the by. So, uh, yeah, that's that's awesome to hear. But that also means that EVM compatibility stretches the bounds of well, who you're able to actually getting a hold of right so now we're talking like 
AVAX, Polygon, uh, and Ethereum projects, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, to mention a few. So would that mean that um, once the season, I think, so we're season one or, or class one or whatnot, um, in the event that people want to, whatever, it's not working for the community, which is w- well within reason, right? Like not everyone's going to, uh, some people just may not see the value, which is fine, even though um, it is what it is. Would then those spots be available or are those spots going to be filled by these EVM projects? And and in the event that that happens, would there be an opportunity for us to um, start moving forward with that, like collaborating with them um, and how soon um, does soon mean, you know what I'm saying? I do because we had a nice long chat yeah. on that on one of our spaces a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> I remember it. I think about that every time I say soon. Um, so the freshman class is really designed for us to to partner with the people that we want to help support right now. Um, Twenty five is the cap at this time, though we will expand that um, as we release that functionality to fifty. And so when I say EVM compatible, you know, Neanderthal just did a lot of the name dropping for me, but these are a lot of the chains that are layer two settlements or running really prolific DeFi protocols on their own, that there's liquidity locked up across all of these different protocols. For us, we live on Solana and we can check and see exactly how much is on our DeFi. Um, It's pretty small in comparison to some of the other ones, Binance and Ethereum. So as we roll those out, we do, you know, gain the opportunity to provide this as a service against any chain and also facilitate trading on any chain. And we will roll out to season two and extend our partner project uh, slots to 50. Um, but right now on Solana, we are doing 25 total. And soon, what does soon mean? So we're up here talking a lot of numbers and mumbo jumbo. What does this mean for you guys who are our partner projects? and or, you know, holders considering using the protocol. I've said it right now, we're largely trading Solana. Um, That's where the DeFi volume on Solana is, is trading Solana. Drift has, you know, shown promise that it is growing, and we as Solana natives know that it is a really great, inexpensive chain for us to trade on, but not if you're firing into empty order books. And so why should you give a shit? That's one of the biggest things I'd like to answer in this. Why should you give a shit? Not only will we be trading Solana, we'll be able to actually run the hedge fund protocol to the extent that it's designed for, where instead of just longing Solana, we're able to take out, you know, a simultaneous hedge against Link or Ethereum or Sui or whatever it is. The way that Thor presents these calls, you know, it's ever evolving and it's changed and diversified against multiple assets. It gives people the opportunity to take advantage of DeFi movement and volume on other chains without having to leave home base, which is Solana. And so that's something that we're really bullish on. And the new website that we have coming out will do um, a lot of that work for us by reducing barriers. We don't want people to feel like they have to be so chain centric or, you know, bound by one chain. We've just integrated MetaMask into our protocol. And obviously we're looking into Squad's wallet and everything like that. And so we do want this to be a fully fleshed, interoperable hedge fund. And that's really the the drive we're going for. And for you as a member, as a partner project, or as someone who's looking or interested in the protocol, this gives you maximum exposure to trading any coin, you know, up or down, short or long, whatever it is. And also it extends our ability to capitalize on other DeFi components um, on other chains. We know that liquidity does have interest generating deposits. Now we've taken advantage of that to the best of our ability on Solana. And now we can do that as we transition funds to these other protocols and to these other chains as well. And that there's a lot of opportunity for us to to add diversification into the protocol. And so why should you give a shit? Because it is a literal one stop, one click, you know, DeFi trading protocol that exposes you to, you know, a a time-tested strategy and also does one of the things that Days Ducks really hammered on is that it takes the emotion out of all of it. You're not sitting there staring at charts. You're not wondering whether it goes up or down. 
I think that time with our protocol has proven it doesn't matter. Um, up or down, sideways, left to right, Thor does what Thor does best, and it and it trades those ranches. And so it's something that we're really looking forward to getting to its next iteration. V4 will be fun. We're already insanely proud of V3 and looking forward to, to I think, really getting that um, in the hands of more people, which is really where we're at right now. Me, I saw that you dropped and then came back, man. I didn't want to cut you off if you had something else, brother. Nah, dude. I actually, um, I just wanted to come back. I, I, I'm just trying to recall some of the things that, um, that we've mentioned in the past. So I just want to make sure I touch on them so that collectively we can all have an opportunity to learn about each other. So I know there's, uh, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe you can, you can touch up on this, uh, and don't get nervous. Andy, I can feel you being nervous as I'm talking right now, dude. I can feel, I can feel the nervousness in you. So Please know that I'm here uh, with love and not not hate. You're gonna expose the Ponzi dude, chill out, Ian. Hey, listen, dude. This guy knows what the fuck it is. All right, so that's I don't know what the fuck is going on, but he should know how I get down with the get down. All right, um, there's there was talk, <laughs> talks about some token token sales or something like I don't fucking know, dude. Once upon a time, something like that, dude. Now you, here we have some partners or not. Would that possibly ex- be extended to those folks? So, you know what, dude? If you guys like this, you know, here you go. You can, we can get you in here for the low low. Is that a thing still, or is that uh, am I talking out of my ass? <laughs> you're being so cryptic right now. No one knows. Nah, dude. You know what I'm me. talking about. Dude. You know what the fuck I'm saying, dude. I just need you to say I yes do. or yes, dude. Yes. Yes, one hundred percent. Oh, bro. oh, baby, oh, ba- all right, <laughs> all right, dude. That's, that's all my questions. I think I've asked quite a fucking lot, and I don't want to take anyone else's time. But uh, yeah, yeah, good, man. It's you. always a pleasure, my friend. It's always a pleasure. Um, what Nee is talking about is that you know, obviously, one of the use cases that we have for our own cryptocurrency is access to our protocol, and in addition to that, we are rolling out. Um, for those people, and this is something that the partner projects didn't even know about, so surprise them, efforts. Um, we do have a subscription model coming out for our manual signals. Um, not only do we have an automated protocol, but we also provide trading signals, and we are rolling out a subscription model for those. We will be giving a discount to those who hold partner projects, and we will be rolling that out as a way for, um, for you guys to expand some additional utility to your community. You see Thor on the timeline all the time. And we want to have solutions for both active traders, people who know how to trade and manage their own portfolios. And then obviously what we've been talking about is the automated portfolio and protocol that that does it for you. And so this is something that we want to equally be in benefit to our partner projects. And when the subscription model is ready to roll out, um, you guys will be getting a discount on it as well if your community members choose to opt into it, man. So... That's something that we're looking forward to. We're trying to reduce friction, reduce barriers, and and get like as fucking douchey and cliche as it sounds, you know, power in the hands of the people. Um, Thor is insanely powerful. Last month, we had an 86 cumulative total hit rate on our trading signals. Out of 484 signals that we generated with Thor, 86% of them hit take profit levels at least one. I'm going to be silent for a second to let that sink in because 99% of the time when you see that shit on Facebook or any of these targeted ads, you instantly think that this is bullshit. We've been doing this visibly and transparently for over a year, and we have literal thousands of people using our Thor manual signals at this point. And yeah, the, the results really speak for themselves. So it's an additional you know, benefit and thank you for our partner projects that have, like I said, given us that trust. And we want to continue to add value back to you guys and your holders. Um, Trading NFTs is a complex fucking thing in and of itself. That's not why a lot of us, you know, originally started. Um, Cryptocurrency trading is and, you know, will continue to be one of the most sustainable revenue generating abilities within the crypto space. And we want to provide a service for people who want to capitalize on that. And that's, yeah, surprise, MFers. Hell yeah, you, uh, Danny. You can't go through one page this without leaking alpha. Oh, shit. Sorry, go ahead. 
No, go ahead, go ahead. I was just talking. Are you guys, uh, is Cyber Fox pulling up to Breakpoint this year? Sadly, not, man. I will not be there, but we will have a community rep there. All right, send them to zero, guys. This is uh, <laughs> for your frogs. This this fun. A <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I, I wanted to go to Breakpoint. It just didn't line up for me this year. Um, but I have a ton of stateside. Uh, uh, events that I'm going to be going to. For those of you who don't know, I live and travel in a bus, and uh, that's one of the goals for this year is to hit all of the Solana uh, conferences uh, stateside. So I will do that. Days Ducks, are you guys going to be out there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A few of us from the team are going to be out there. Excited to connect with a lot of the folks. I mean, even if you're a Cyber Frog holders and you see us out there, definitely don't be uh, shy to come up and shake hands. We're always open to connecting with the space. This will actually be my first time, um, you know, attending an NFT event as some a part of a project, I guess you could say. So I'm excited to see and meet uh, a lot of you that we've been communicating with online with over the past like eight months. So it'll be exciting. Hell yeah, man. I know that the parties are going to be pretty insane out there. Um, so I'm just going to stay off Twitter for that week. I don't know, man. I was bro. told Web3 parties aren't like actual parties, but I don't know, man. Uh, dude, I went to a party in Vegas and it was a good time. Uh, <laughs> that was a good time, man. <laughs> uh, that was fun, dude. But yeah, we are sad to, to sit this one out, man. But we will be um, bouncing around. Y'all know what it's like, dude. It, it's hard to to balance it all, being a project and and fucking keeping everything running, and then traveling on top of that. So won't be there this year, but next year I will fucking be there. Fair Rain enough, man. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Don't fade us too hard. Hey, I got feeling. Don't be too. Hard. What up, Reese? Uh, Do you have some questions, man? Yeah. Um, I was seeing that. Uh. Is Thor connected to the cyber frogs as well? Because I was saying you were talking about projects and how does that work with the NFT side? Like, do you have to stake it or is it just access to the protocol or how does that work with the NFTs and Thor and everything else? Because I kind of. Yeah, so ourselves and then partner projects, um, they do get a discount, but Thor is open for anyone to use with a 20% performance fee. Um, so, yeah. Okay, okay, so basically I don't have to hold the NFT, but it gives me a discount to use the platform. Correct. Okay, okay. I like what you're doing. You're tagging this the right way. Appreciate you, brother. Um, cool. Well, guys, I know we're coming up on an hour here. Um, I appreciate all y'all for being up here. You know, I want to leave it open if there's any final questions. You know, we're happy to dig into anything if there is, um, and if there's not then we're really looking forward to getting you guys rolling. And um, I think that there's some nice volatility coming in to the market over the next few weeks. And if history has anything to say about it, Thor really loves volatility. So there should be some fun, interesting times ahead. Um, but yeah, if there's any last questions, guys, let's fucking hit them up. And if not, then uh, let's fucking go. Dude, I don't I have... Oh, no, go, ahead. Oh, go ahead, Dave. Go ahead, go ahead. I was just going to say, I don't have any questions, but I do have to jump off. This has uh, been an amazing hour. Andy, again, Cyber Frogs team, you guys are phenomenal. Very much appreciating you helping us being in the final or the freshman class and as well as uh, hosting the space. Um, if you are from the Cyber Frogs team and you see us ducks out there in Amsterdam, by all means, come up, shake our hands. Um, we'll definitely have a lot of goodies we'll be giving away throughout that entire week. Um, excited to see how Thor continues to perform. Um, as everyone has been watching very closely, Solana has some very interesting TPs, a lot of DAOs and people have been uh, anticipating for it. So I'm sure Thor will um, provide uh, exquisite value for everyone that's partaking it. I know our holders are loving it and will continue to grow that relationship and see how it pans out. But um, big round of applause for Cyber Frogs. You know, one of the very few that are still here in the space providing adequate utility to the holders. Uh, passive income is one of the things I think everyone looks to dream and hopefully get to some sort of value and seeing cyber frogs being one of the leading innovators in that, at least in the Solana ecosystem, to my knowledge, um, it's quite a big achievement. So, so kudos to them and uh, appreciate you guys setting this up. Much, much appreciation, my friend. We will have our, uh, our friends come and see you in Amsterdam, dude. But uh, thanks for hopping up here, man. We'll talk to you soon, brother. Love it, man. You guys take care. Bye. Peace, man. All right, dude. Yeah, I got a fucking question, though. Fuck all that. I know you were like, oh, I'm almost done about it. Fuck no, dude. 
You got me fucked up, dude. I got a question, dude. And I think it's a good one. It's a doozy, all right? So here's the question, dude. Have you thought of possibly using this opportunity now that you have the freshman, you know, you have people coming in, maybe using it for something like exchange art where artists can use some of the funds that they make in like with exchange art or something like that with an established, I mean, so these are all individual projects, but I think like artists, sometimes they don't know where the fuck to park their liquid. So they just take it out or whatever. But maybe if there was a way that we can do the same thing for an entity like exchange art so that individual artists through their site can somehow figure, you know, use store, just an idea, not really a question. I'm really just here to fucking give you more, even though you may have not never thought about something like that. You know, fuck it, dude. That's what these spaces are for. And um, I, I really didn't have a question. I just had that statement. And I, I'm pretty sure you're like, what the fuck, man? Like, But anyway, there you go. Thor, Thor is proudly supporting two independent artists already. And we managed Ooh. the treasuries. Okay. Um, okay. Like, I can yeah. hear the smile. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know me, bro. Uh, you know, here's where we're at, man. And I can tell you our plan is that we want to start and we want to roll this out for uh, boots on the ground. You know, that's really our humble beginnings and that's who we want to support. Um, that includes one of one artists that includes projects from the NFT side. And eventually this will be a service that we roll out to institutions and, um, you know, equally other platforms like exchange art and, um, some other familiar faces in the, in the game. And so, you know, where we're at right now is I think doing it backwards. I think people target the big individuals first. And again, I want to target the boots on the ground, the guys that have been in the trenches with us for the last two years, the guys still, you know, bringing value to their holders and their community. And then we'll span, you know, up from there. But uh, the last thing I'm going to do is, is really go out of my way to, to, to jump that, I think hurdle first, you know, we want to support our friends first and I don't want to sound cliche, but that is 100% where our ethos is. And so we will get to supporting protocols and additional platforms in the Solana and outward ecosystems. But, uh, for now, you know, the target is really providing value for the friends and homies. And I want to touch on one thing just real quick, you know, and I don't know to what degree people have told their, their holders and their community, but welcome to cyber frogs. It's Andy. If you didn't know me, I'm transparent to a fault. Um, you know, when projects holders and their community members do pledge into Thor, we've talked about that performance fee. You know, you might be thinking that this all goes directly to cyber frogs, and that's not the case either. One of the things that we were really adamant about is that this was a revenue stream, you know, an ability to to really say thank you um, and appreciate our, our partner projects. So there is a 60-40 split that happens with our partner projects. When we take a 20% performance fee, if we make you guys profit, that is split directly to your project leads. And that goes into their treasury. And that gives them the ability to continue to do what it is that they do for your community, either via art, trade updates, whatever it is. This is something that is a revenue stream that directly goes into their to the project's pockets. And that's something that you know, I want to be really transparent about because that's really, again, what we're trying to do here is that it's difficult to maintain your portfolio and it's even more difficult to grow that. And that this is an opportunity for your holders to be rewarded and for the holders who choose to interact with this to really help, you know, I, I think push, push the project further along. Um, operational fees, I don't even care if you're doing anything crazy or not. Servers cost money. Mods cost money. You know, all of these things are, are difficult to maintain. And so with Thor being a solution to managing their own treasuries, as well as an opportunity for, for them to have community support, that directly feeds these projects and that that continues to help keep pushing them forward. And it takes some of that guesswork out of, you know, what's an additional way for this to be feasible. And so I don't know to what degree people told their communities that, but like I said, um, transparent to a fault and also really in line with why we wanted to do this in the manner that we did is, you know, revenue streams and maintaining, you know, your cash flow is one of the dif most difficult components of running a project. So 
Um, we want this to, to really help answer a couple of those questions right off the bat. Now I'm just waiting for Nee to come up with something else crazy. No, whoa, whoa, dude. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, congratulations to all the projects. I, I think there's another question, but that, that was it. No more questions. No more questions. <laughs> Much love, brother. <laughs> Undervalued. Undervalued. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's one of the things that you just touched on that I didn't know if you explained to everyone. But one other thing, have you talked about how do people access Thor from a community standpoint and how it displays the partner projects on the left-hand side when they log in? I haven't. <laughs> But that sounds like you would probably be better at talking about that because I have not been keeping up with that right now. Don't be mad. There's so much shit going on. So as far as I know, so I still need to test out. And uh, I don't know if Groovies is still up here, but I know they were doing it. And so whenever you log in, so you just go to the Cyber Frogs website. You click on our Twitter profile. The website will be right there access the website you want to go to the v3 contract and then it's going to ask you for a token id if you are holding the partner communities nft in your wallet that means that you can create the token id log in and on the left hand side when you get to your thor dashboard it should display the nft partner that we have and it should say 18 percent instead of 20 so don't access it from just any wallet make sure it's in the correct wallet and make sure it has that partner nft discount on there of 18 percent, and it doesn't display 20 if it does display 20 please reach out to us right away and we'll need to make sure that we get the info that we need from your partner community i think everyone up here we have hooked up except for tombstone but i need to get with you guys and get you guys all plugged in but pretty sure everyone else is plugged in uh, but if you guys have any issues with that, please reach out to me or anyone else on the Cyber Frogs team or open a uh, ticket inside the Discord. Couldn't have said it but better Lemon, myself. You got your hand up, brother. Yo, hey guys. You know, big time fan here with all you guys, especially being with the Mushies. Um, I just had a quick question. I think you guys mentioned this a long time ago or not, but uh, does the Kira get burnt when uh, people use it in the contracts and such? 100% of the Kira spent for a contract is burnt. And then uh, I also got a question. Uh, do you know where Vlosius? is? Uh, I thought they were coming to speak. Yeah, I, I'm still waiting for that day myself. Uh, he is the only team member whose voice I haven't heard in two years. Two years. Um, so one day we'll get that, that sweet relief, but not today. Oh, that's too bad. I'd oh, yeah, thank you, guys. We're, uh, we're very, very grateful to be a uh, part of the Cyber Frogs. Uh, I know our original founder, Gunter, was uh, showing you guys like unbelievably mad back in the day. And I uh, really wish we listened to him, but I know he's been a big, uh, big fan of you guys. And yeah. Man, Gunter, I have not talked to him in forever. How's he been? I haven't even seen him around. Oh, he's been really well. Uh, just uh, he's been traveling a bunch, working in some different countries. and. Kind of just taking in some fresh air, but yeah, he's uh, he's doing well. Yeah, he's been canceling plans on me to meet up and go get drunk. Um, is really what he's doing. So, at some point, though, he will be back, man. But uh, yeah, you know, it's really great. And what's funny is that each one of these projects that's up here right now, we've had personal relationships and friendships with. You know, not to make it sound weird. Um, and that that's one of the big things, too, is that each one of these projects up here has really helped us get to where we are. And I think that it's all about supporting each other all along the way. And that that's a reason why we have the freshman class who we have. And, uh, yeah, we're just we're really thankful to be doing this with friends and I think providing a solution to quite a few things that make cryptocurrency innately difficult as it stands. So um, nothing but respect for everybody that's up here absolutely appreciative like in ways that i cannot say you know for for you know joining us on this journey and really fucking helping support us so thank you guys y'all are the real g's here we just happen to be the ones hosting the space oh here's hellboy speak of the devil but joe i saw you had your hand up a little bit uh ago bro did you get your question answered man Hey, what's up, Andy? Yes, I did get my question answered. Um, I do have other things that I wanted to talk about. So, like, when we do partnerships, I know inside CyberFog you guys have tiers. Is it possible to do tiers within 
our own community as a partnership uh, so we can bring value towards people who actually hold more of our own tokens? It, not at this time, but like I said, we're constantly making improvements and advancements, and it's something we're happy to keep on our radar. Okay. We have had a couple people request that, so it's definitely on our forever long to-do list of possibilities of things we may roll out. But, you know, as we continue to see a need of it and people requesting it, it's always, you know, something we can put in the pipeline down the road. Awesome. Awesome. Alex, I just like to say, I do use you guys' platform. I am, I love it. I use it all the time. Uh, thank you, Andy, for giving me the GigaWell status. Uh, I am loving it. I'm working it. Um, can't say any more, but it's, it's the greatest thing ever. We appreciate you, bro. We just want to see our friends succeed. That's what this is about. Um, so rounding, sort of rounding this out, I want to do just a little bit of market updates, just super quick. If you guys don't like talking numbers, totally understand. Um, I want to say one thing right now, if you sold your Bitcoin at $12, um, in GMI, I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you for the cheap Solana. But we do have a target of $44 on the weekly chart for Solana. That usually takes a long time to get there. There's some upward movement that's happening across the board. I think what we're seeing right now, guys, is that sell pressure has been relieved, at least temporarily. Um, one thing that I really encourage people to, for my own personal trading strategy, is to really ignore a lot of the news and get the fuck off the timeline if you're trying to make financial decisions for yourself. That is the easiest way to wreck your bags is listening to um, crypto Twitter. Uh, don't listen to fucking crypto Twitter. Uh, you know, Find your trusted sources, sources and go from there. Um, obviously, make whatever financial decisions are best for you at the time. There's no cell shaming or anything like that. But um, overall, we're going to be holding a pattern for a little bit. We're looking for a daily close over $35,000. Uh, for Solana, we did just invalidate some of the shorts that we had. Um, or some of the longs at the lower price levels. We had our daily close above $32.80. It is looking like, optimistically, the bull market is not back, but that the bear market is definitely near over. So if you have been here for two years, if you have grinded through this shit with the rest of us, with the rest of the projects up here, pat yourself on the back if this is your first cycle um now you know how much they suck and what's really cool is what comes next so um kudos on you guys for sticking it out thank you all of the partner projects that came up here thank you guys for your trust and your support and we're really looking forward to circling back on this conversation in a year and i think that we will all be patting each other on the back and uh just really looking forward to seeing where that conversation goes so if anyone has any final thoughts let's fucking let's go with it if not guys thank y'all all for taking the time to come up here and talk and uh i just appreciate you guys I just really want to make that known it is all about finding your friends in the space seeing who's been here building seeing who stayed positive and active and pushing the limits throughout some of the worst market conditions that have existed in my 11 years of crypto. Um, if you're still here, you are a fucking Chad. Um, and if you are a project founder or running a project and you're still here, you're fucking insane and we love you. So with that being said, this was a great space. I appreciate you all. Um, and I will catch you guys on the flip side. Sav, I will reach out to you in DM. We'll talk soon. Peace, guys.